How do I plan my basic flights? Hi everyone, welcome uh, to a new vlog and today I want to talk about uh, how I plan my flights. So yeah, every pilot has his own way, has his own software to use. So I thought it was a good idea to show you how I plan my flight, which software I use and how I deal with all the information and bring it all to a plan before we go flying. So I'm go going to fire up my uh, PC and um, let's dig into that and show you how I uh, prepare everything before flight. Okay, now the computer is up and running. It is time to uh, gather all the information for our flight. So the first thing we need to do is find a destination. After we found our destination, we need to make sure that the weather is of course doable to uh, fly or route and come back on a safe way. So the first thing I do is fire up the uh, internet browser and go to the Sky Eyes website. It is uh, the website of the ATC provider here in Belgium. They have an own uh, meteo uh, station, so they um, predict the weather for all the pilots. So it's a very reliable way to check for uh, weather. And you can also consult the AIP um, pre-flight and flight planning. But those two things or three things I do via another software. So what I do here on Sky Eyes is um, checking the meteor. When I have clicked the meteor sign, meteor sign, sorry, I can uh, go to the forecast bulletins and check the general forecast for the day of flying. On that forecast, as you can see, you can find all the necessary info you have you need to. Um, yeah, consider it is safe to fly or not safe to fly. So um, all this info has to be checked. So we can proceed to the um, flight briefing charts. Here I check two, actually three um, pictures. It's a surface analysis. analysis the significant weather chart and the low level significant weather chart so on this uh, surface analysis it's um, only for europe you can choose your time zone and click on view and you have a good picture of the high and low pressure uh, systems um, in your area um, it's important to um, have an idea how the weather is moving so you can um, get the time um, a little bit less or a little bit more than your departure point to see the movement of, of the high and low pressure systems. The next chart is the significant weather chart. You can choose your region. For me it's Europe obviously. Choose the date and hour of flight or approximately hour of the flight and hit the view button. And here you have a good idea of this chart. You can um, see whether you have clouds or turbulence. So it's important to have a look at that, this chart also. And for our region, it's also good to check the low level significant weather chart. Um, you choose again the region, date and time and click on view. So you have a nice diagram. Uh, who shows you uh, in the region you are flying what the surface, surface visibility will be the weather and the turbulence clouds icing and so on so those three charts are pretty important to have a look at together with the um, forecast bulletin so you can make a picture of the weather that will be during your flight. After that you can decide whether you fly or not fly and together with this information I also check the windy 
uh, website it is a very very good website it's also an app on your smartphone or tablet so for every pilot here flying around and watching this channel i recommend to um, download the app it is a very um, good source of uh, of info for your flight so you can scroll down the time zone um, on the bottom and on the right you can actually choose to have a look at the winds in your region you can have a look whether they uh, forecast rain or thunderstorms you can go for clouds so it's it's a massive um, a massive income of information you can find here on this uh, website so I recommend all of you to to use this uh, when you are a pilot so you can predict a bit the weather uh, along the route but also um, forecast it for your way back so it's a very good tool together with uh, sky eyes the meteor briefing and windy I um, consult the weather info I read that, I analyze that, and I decide whether it's safe to fly or not safe to fly. After gathering all this info, and we decided to go ahead with the flight, I go to my flight planning software, and we, or I use Sky Demon here in the Europe region. I think it is the most common software you can find for VFR flights here in uh, Europe. You also have uh, nowadays the um, ForeFlight app, but I think ForeFlight is very good for IFR flying, but for the VFR pilot here in Europe, I surely recommend Sky Demon. I'm not sponsored by Sky Demon um, to clear this out, but it is a very fantastic tool. So let's fire up Sky Demon. Like that. So you get the app started on your computer. It's divided by a map section, a virtual section, and on the right side, you can um, adjust some preferences. Well, mostly it's the weight and balance with the no times and weather app, and also the flight details and air fields um, section on the right side. On the top side, you have a lot of options, but we will not go into detail. Of that the purpose of this vlog is to show you how I plan my flights of course so we know where we are starting from if the map is zoomed out on another place I just hit the home button on the left top and it brings me automatically to Echo Bravo Kilo Tango and there are two ways now to plan uh, a route so I can go to route new and plan my route via this um, tutorial or I can click on the departure and then scroll to the destination let's say Echo Hotel Sierra Echo Sapa Airport and it draws a line directly from your departure to your destination that's the first step I do uh, for my flight planning or my route planning so now I know where I will start and where I will end now I have to choose the aircraft I have to fly. So here on the top middle section you have aircraft icon. And here you can decide or create aircrafts you fly. I will take the Delta Echo Papa Delta Hotel. It's the Group 115 use aircraft. So you have an accurate um, info regarding the distance and the time you you will have to fly during your route there is some weather indicated on the map the weather indicated on the map is the weather that uh, is uh, forecasted at the time you open the app and your system time you can um, scroll your uh, time ahead via the uh, uh, weather section uh, on the top right here with time you can scroll ahead if you plan a flight uh, later on the day or the day after but for now we will take the uh, weather that is current when we have a direct route then I decide together with my friends or myself which way I would like to fly so um, it's very easy to do I uh, click and grab the route 
and I just release it on the first waypoint, let's say um, the city of Ghent. And after the city of Ghent, I would like to go to um, Zealand here, and from there we go directly to our destination Seppen. So I created in total one, two, and three legs. So this is all printed in the virtual radio radar beneath, and here I can decide whether I fly at 3000 feet or 2000 feet default I have set it on 2000 feet but you can adjust that uh, in case you want to fly higher due to the wind uh, to burn less fuel on longer trips but default I take 2000 because we're flying VFR mostly uncontrolled so I can decide how high I fly uh, for uh, this uh, route it also gives you a nice image where the CTR TMAs are situated or the no-fly zones uh, are also um, printed on the virtual radar so we have a pretty good idea when you will enter or when you will need to descend or uh, climb for um, purposes that are printed on the, on the virtual radar. So um, after choosing our route it's uh, pretty simple. I can from here on um, go to the weight and balance at the right side. Here I can enter the fuel I need, the weights of the pilot and passenger and baggage if we should take some. You get a nice picture of the envelope if you have of course selected all the necessary parameters uh, the correct way if it is not correct you cannot use that and sky demon always refers to the um, poh it gives you a nice picture of uh, a total picture of what what will what your weight and balance will be you can also check the no temps here for the day of flying and the weather stations along the route uh, which uh, are indicated with a a green, a yellow or a red uh, ball indicating VFR or medium VFR of IFR. Underneath the weight and balance you have some additional info during the route. It uh, indicates if you need to file a flight plan or not. Uh, it also shows you whether you are too low or too high for some regions or um, terrain. Um, it also gives you warnings for um, zones you need to pass or will pass or close by. So all the info is printed here on one screen. It gives you the route info. It gives you the time uh, when you will depart. So you can choose your date or um, hour for departure. It's important for filing flight plans afterwards. And your fuel uh, is also indicated here. After checking all those, all this info, you can go to airfields, make sure and check all the um, charts. So you can have all the charts opened in a PDF or some charts with the icon here uh, at the right will be projected on the um, uh, map itself. This is the um, computer version. There is also an um, app on the iPad, so um, it's uh, important when the um, planning is done on the computer, we um, store the route and the info on the cloud, of course. So this info can all be checked, so actually you can plan your whole flight, you can check uh, everything and you can even print a flight pack, so you, you, you can put all this info together in PDF files and print it out so you have everything on paper. So yeah, it's a pretty nice tool. So this is how I plan my flights. After I have done all this, I can simply go to root, save, give it a name, save it and it will be also in the cloud. So um, yeah, this is how I plan my flight. Um, via um, the PC. Let's close this window 
and for um, info purposes I will also show you the um, app on the iPhone or better ways the I iPad um, so you can see how I use my, this info projected here during the flight on my iPad so I meet you with the screen of my iPad so to finish up before flying I just want to show you the screen I have on my iPad so you have on the left top corner um, the sky demon uh, icon when I click that and I, cre I agree the uh, info they gave me you get pretty much the same picture as the uh, personal computer app so if I go to root open I have all my stored roots in the cloud I can choose um, the Echo Bravo Kilo Tango to separate root and as you can see everything is projected on the map like on the computer you have the warning tabs it warns you about um, yeah terrain or um, windmills or so you have the no times app weather app airfields here you can choose and see some info you can project some charts on the um, application so yeah it's pretty much the same as on the uh, PC but it's of course um, more detailed uh, here on the iPad for uh, flying purposes so if I hit go flying you can see now I'm based in uh, Bruges but normally it will show here on uh, Echo Bravo Kilo Tango and from there on I can uh, lock the engine start and lock the blocks off and um, we go flying so this is basically how I plan my flights so guys this is basically how I plan my flights I choose a destination look for the weather if everything is okay I will plan my route in the um, Sky Demon app print documents if necessary store it in the cloud hit the road with my flight back pull the aircraft out and start flying this is basically how I do it if you have questions or comments leave them down below if you would if you would like to see other content explained please ask them I will try to um, make a vlog about that and yeah if you um, like this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you already did didn't do so and um, hit the notification bell so you uh, know when new content is coming online and for now i would say uh, see you on the next one bye bye